man, I just printed this really nice shirt. However, I'm not too crazy about the yellow on it. I wanna make it pop a little bit more on the white. Stick around, I'm gonna show you how to do it with no Photoshop or Illustrator. So here I have my design and the yellow, I wasn't too happy with it because it just didn't stand out on the white shirt. If it was a darker shirt, it would be perfect, but on the white shirt, it doesn't stand out. So all I have to do is go to my tools section. Actually, let me click on the design first. Once I click on the design, I can go to tool section and go to color replacement. Once I click color replacement, I have my canvas right here and I'm going to use my dropper tool to actually click on the yellow. Once I click on the yellow, you're gonna see the selection here and the replacement. So this is what I wanna replace it with. This is the current selection that shows you the yellow and I'm going to replace it with this. So if I click on this little color box, I get this nice palette and I can see that I have a teal or a type of bluish that I like, so I'm gonna click on it, but I'm gonna make it just a little bit brighter so that it kinda goes with the purple. So I'm gonna make it just a little bit brighter and right here, that's about how I like it, and I'm gonna click OK. And there you have it, the color has been changed. Once I click OK, it's gonna revert to the color. And from this point, it's just a matter of right-clicking and print to file. Once I print to file, I'm gonna save it to my PRT folder. That's what I like to call it, my PRT folder, and save. So now I know I can go back and get it and download it. All right, so the file has already been saved. Now let's go to the front of the shirt. So I'm just gonna go File and go New and I'm gonna open the image and I'm gonna load the front logo. Now for this design, it's gonna depend, uh, you have to place it exactly where you want on the platen for it to go on the shirt. Now remember when I'm gonna put the shirt on the platen, I'm gonna put the collar here so that the collar is like this and the center is gonna be right there so that the logo comes out, left chest logo just perfect. So four and a half inch deep and eight and a half inches from the side. So that's where my placement is. I'm gonna right click leave it just as it is and print the file and I'm gonna save it on that same little PRT folder. So that's already been ripped. Now let's take it over to the printer and go print. I'm gonna be using a Gildan 100% cotton shirt. It's a size large so that I can print on it. Uh, remember when doing any type of printing for the DTG, you have to pre-treat your garment or get one that's already pre-treated. This one isn't, so I'm gonna show you the steps from A to Z on how to get it done. First step is to take all the moisture out of the shirt and flatten it out. So we're gonna do that with the heat press. At 320 degrees for 20 seconds, I'm just gonna get the, all the moisture off this shirt. Beautiful, you see all that steam? Oof. All right, now the shirt is nice and pressed and I'm gonna take it to the Sonic Jet and I'm gonna coat both the front and the back because we're doing two designs on this one, the front and the back. We're gonna do the back first. Typically when you're doing a back design, you wanna be five inches away from the neck. So here, there's my front collar. So once I let the collar go all the way past the little table, then I know that the pretreatment will be at least five inches away from the, the collar. So now I'm just gonna straighten it out and we're going to push it into the pretreatment machine, the Sonic Jet. The design I'm using is gonna take up the entire back of the shirt. So I need to make sure that all the quadrants for the entire shirt are done. And once I'm ready, I'm gonna hit the start. So I want you to guys come down here and take a look what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna hit the start button. Now watch what happens. That's it, it's pre-treated. So for the front of the shirt, we're only gonna do the top half. We don't need to do the whole thing. So I'm just gonna take the shirt, flip it over. So I put my collar closer to the handle. Now in this case, the collar is closer to the back. So in order for me to spray just towards the, the collar part, I'm gonna go here and just delete the two on top and leave the two on the bottom because that's gonna do the bottom of the platen, which is where my collar is. So you can either turn it around one way or the other, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, so here we go, we're gonna hit next, start, and it should just spray where the collar is. By the way, the Sonic Jet is available at shop.racoma.com. All right, the spray already finished, so now we're gonna take this and put it into our heat press. Remember, we did both the front and the back and we're just gonna dry them both. Ideally, you could just let this sit on a hanger on a shelf and let it dry, or you can heat press it to get all the moisture out of it. So in this case, we like to do things fast. So we're just gonna put it right here on the heat press and just dry it out. Now, I like to have two different sheets, one for the drying process and one for curing the ink. So in this case, the one that I have for the drying process, I cut the corner off of it so I know which one is which. 
And there we go. So now we're just gonna take this and we're just gonna press it a couple times to let the steam come out of it and it's gonna get dry, nice and dry. 320 for 20 seconds. And watch when I pop it out, it's gonna be like a pizza coming out of the oven, all steamy. Look at that. Nice and steamy. And we're gonna press it again. Usually about three times works to get it nice and dry. Okay, it's ready to go on the platen. Let's do the DTG. This is the back of the collar. I'm just gonna line it up to the center as best I can. There we go. Make sure that this is same distance. Nice. And we put the cover on, or the little shirt holder. Now there is a little hole right here that lets you know where the center of the shirt is. So my tag happens to be right there. I'm just gonna make sure that it's nice and flat all around. To select a new design, we're gonna go to USB and we're gonna scroll down here. And there it is. Perfect, and hit select. Yes. Oh, look at that, nice. The colors changed to blue and we're ready to go. All we have to do is hit set and we're good. The change of color definitely was a better idea. Now we're gonna cure it. So with a couple of clicks of a button on the computer, we were able to change the color from yellow to this nice teal, which really goes well with the purple or lavender. Okay, so straight from here, I'm gonna put it right back on the platen so I can do the front. So on Vivid Rip, I already have my placement as a left chest logo, but to make sure that I can repeat this process, I'm gonna line up this collar to the edge of the platen right here. That way I know every time I hoop it or every time I place it on the platen, it's gonna print exactly in the same place because I do need the image to go just a little bit closer to this side. So about three to four inches away from the sleeve. So for the front panel, we're gonna do the left chest logo. We're gonna go to the USB. We're gonna find the version that fits and there it is right there and click select and yes. Boom, there it is. We're ready to set it to go in. You ready? Let's go. Can you see that? And the back. If you're not quite sure of where to place your images on your garments, make sure to check out this video. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the card above and in the description below. It shows you exactly how to place your garments, whether it's a large, medium, or small, whether it's a left chest logo or back image, and how to place it perfectly every single time. Make sure you go check it out. Remember to smash that like button, share this video with all your friends, and remember to hit that notification bell so you know when we're putting up the next content. You're not gonna wanna miss an episode. I hope you enjoyed this tip, and I can't wait to see you on the next video. See you guys later.